Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. I'm back today with another tiny house for my Zodiac series. And as you might notice, this is not a Sagittarius build, which is the next Zodiac that uh, we are due to be going after, which is actually my Zodiac sign, Sagittarius. But today we're tackling a fucus, which I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing correctly. I've looked up the pronunciation quite a few times and there seems to be some variation on how to pronounce it. But if you're not familiar with this, this is sometimes addressed as the 13th zodiac sign and it's not official. Every few years, there's like a big article that comes out where it claims that everyone's zodiac signs have changed to incorporate this 13th zodiac sign, which falls between November 29th and December 18th, which means if we acknowledge the existence of this one, this would be my zodiac sign. Anyway, since I have been doing a zodiac series on the channel, I decided it would be really fun this time of year since this one is currently in effect, if you believe in this. Uh, to have this one as a bonus video. And I've always just kind of looked at this series as a fun way to get concepts for building a home in The Sims, getting vague ideas of what a personality type for a Sim would be. Uh, so of course, none of this is incredibly serious. You might not fit the personality type that I have for this build if you fall within those dates, or you might be very against the zodiac sign. I don't have a strong feeling one way or another, other than the fact that if we go by the dates of this, this is my zodiac sign. And when I look at this and at Sagittarius, there's parts of both of them that I definitely lean towards. So this one was very complicated for me and it took a lot of fiddling to come up with what I wanted this sim to be like because there's very limited information on this zodiac sign as it is not like officially recognized, but it's often talked about and some practices do incorporate this into their their beliefs when it comes to astrology. So I will be going off of the notes that I made while I was building this as well as some just interesting information that I found when I was looking this up. So let's get into that and then I will discuss what I decided for this build. So some of the things I wrote down on just notes I was taking as I was looking this up to try and get some sort of concept for this build was I wanted to create a home that was vaguely for a sim who was an architect. That was one of the careers that came up a few different times in my research and that they are very proud of their higher education and like to display that. So I wrote down that I wanted to have some diplomas throughout the space. They are a seeker of wisdom and knowledge, which I feel like it says under every zodiac sign when I look that up. I wrote good humor, curious, passionate and jealous, secretive, eccentric and quirky with bright colors. They always procrastinate and they tend to only keep useful things, including friends. Uh, so I wanted to have clutter, but like useful clutter, if that makes sense. Uh, but basically, this is a little article I found. What is a fucus and what it is what is it not? So in 1930, the International Astronomical Union defined the constellation boundaries of Ophiuchus, noting that the sun passes in front of it between November 29th and December 18th, and every now and then, turning up a whole new wave of chatter, drama, and skepticism about astrology, astronomers point this out. While neither system of astrology officially uses this as a sign, some side real astrologies may incorporate it into their practice. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely not one that is often talked about, but it is something that it's brought up from time and time again to kind of stir everything up. And I remember the most recent time this happened, and I was like, what? It literally like starts on my birthday. Because depending on when you look it up, it'll either say that it starts on the 18th or ends on the 18th of December or ends on the 17th of December. And I'm born on December 17th. So I thought it was quite interesting. And there's a lot of articles with more information about this sign. It's existence or lack of existence. So feel free to look that up. I think it's really interesting. And uh, I was very excited to go ahead and create a home for this, but don't worry, the Sagittarius build is coming later this week. Uh, I did not forget about that because their dates are technically like the same uh, or like very overlapping. <laughs> so I didn't want to go by the new dates if this, if this astrological sign did exist. So Sagittarius is going by his regular dates. So there will be a Sagittarius build coming soon and a Capricorn one not too far after that, I've actually already been building those and I'm very excited to share them. So this build is coming together now. You probably saw the outside. It was 
very contradicting trying to figure out how to create this house because I was seeing secretive, I was seeing like alone, but I also wanted to do something modern based on everything that I was reading. So there are some definitely quirky things in this build, which was another thing that I read was quirky. So I tried to incorporate that. I wanted a fun fridge in here. Uh, since this was an architect space, I decided that big room with all of the windows was going to be like their workspace slash living room. And I tried to incorporate a lot of decorations that I felt like fit that kind of idea. They're more like interior decoration things because that's what we have with Dream Home Decorator. But I did want to include those and I think it comes out pretty cute in the end. I do really like this home. The quirkiest thing probably included in this build was a bookcase door that leads to the bathroom. And the reason for that is because I really wanted to incorporate, uh, I really wanted to incorporate a bookcase door and that was because of the whole like secretive thing, like having secrets, but there wasn't like a good place for one. And I've always wanted a bookcase door. And there's actually been this conversation between me and my boyfriend over the last like year where we've talked about in a future home, we want to have a bookcase door, but we want it to be on all of the bathroom doors because we think it's so funny, the idea of somebody coming over for the first time and asking to use the bathroom. And we say, sure, if you can find it. Uh, so that ended up being in here. I was building this with my best friend Katie though, and she just thought that that was the weirdest thing I could ever do. But I thought it was funny and applicable to me and my own little private joke that I have with my boyfriend. So here you're now in on it. Uh, we have a bookcase door here. But I think it looks cute and it looks like extra storage and, you know, it can help with their desire for information and knowledge, their quest for knowledge. And it's also like their secretive bathroom. I mean, you could have put it on the bedroom, but so this is such a small home. There wasn't really like a good place to have like a secret room. So I thought it was a fun way to incorporate that. There was also something I read somewhere about like black roses. So that's included in here. And I got a couple of these paintings up here because they are more like architectural sketches. So I wanted to include those here as well. I thought that they looked quite nice. And of course, getting some of the clutter from the uh, clutter kits. It's just so good having like the keys by the door. Also like the phone on the table. Uh, at this point, I'm trying to figure out like the tile situation and I really wasn't happy with it. I do end up changing it. You can also see this really brightly colored wall. Uh, this stuff will change. Don't worry. It, it looks very strange right now but it will change. Um, anyway, I did decide to have this little like showpiece that came with um, cats and dogs. This is like a replica of the island. And I thought it would be really cool to have the Sim who like not only is an architect, but like plans out spaces. So I thought having something like this would be really cool. Uh, so I will make that look a little bit more built in and like it actually matches the space. Uh, it will be moving into the corner here. And I used those little like block pieces that came with the Desert Lux kit to create a base for that that fits the style a lot better. I was really happy with that decision. I also added a microphone because I had read about them being very humorous and so I was thinking maybe they could be into comedy and maybe they are like a stand-up comedian but they're also really secretive in their real life and their whole personality is quite secretive, but they make jokes about stuff. I don't know. Like I said, this was a very confusing one, but <laughs> the, the ultimate thing was architect, secretive, clutter, but not messy, useless items, all like very, very like useful items that you would have. But you know, a lot of that kind of stuff, basically practical clutter and they're kind of a loner, but they also really enjoy romantic relationships and they are a comedian. That was the whole concept behind this. And there were some contradictory things in there, which is why I struggled with this build so much. But I think it ended up being a very interesting concept for a sim and a personality, which is why I love this Zodiac series so much because I take little pieces of what I find. They're by no means like going to fully identify every person that falls within that time frame of when they are born. But I think it creates some very interesting builds I might not have chosen otherwise. So yeah, if you do like this build and you would like to download it, you can use this for any sim. It doesn't have to be somebody who falls within this zodiac sign. It will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it right now under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y, P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So right now I'm trying to figure out the living room space, and I really like the couch I ended up going with. 
This one is from high school years. I've been using it a lot lately, but it just has so much personality with all of the cushions and the blankets. It just looks so nice and lived in and it fit perfectly in this little nook I had in this space. I was trying to have a bit of like color and quirky aspects to this house. I wanted the outside to not be colorful, even though I wrote down to have a lot of color in this house because of that whole secretive part. I wanted this house to be away from everyone, but also fairly neutral and normal looking other than being modern. And then the inside was where I was going to have pops of color and useful clutter. So these are all like desk things I have over here. We have like the sticky notes and the pencils and all of that. Some drawing tablets for working on their like concepts for the architecture they're doing. And, you know, it's messy, but it's all useful things that they're using for their career and what they really care about. So that's what I wanted to include over there. I loved this desk I got to use from Dream Home Decorator that has all of the little rulers and stuff on it. And then over here is where I'm going to be putting a TV. At first, I didn't think to put that. So I will be moving that here shortly and uh, figuring that out. I was like, oh, this board would look good here. But then I was like, oh, wait, I put the wall there specifically so I could have a TV because I like to include them in builds, even though they're not that pretty, because it's just a really good way for your Sims to gain the fun like need. So they are happier. Uh, so I did want to include that and I made it a little bit prettier by combining it into this frame from the paranormal stuff pack. I used tool to just kind of nudge everything and it looks so good. I really like that. I think I used the red frame in the end just for another pop of color. And then I'm just getting some curtains over here. These are from the Desert Lux uh, kit and they're just so pretty and modern. And I just wanted a little bit of something up there. I wanted it to mostly be open because we have these beautiful big windows, but the idea of having some privacy and a little bit more texture in the space was quite appealing. So that is what I ended up doing. And then I decided to move the microphone and have a lamp over here instead. And then we can have the microphone over in this corner, which is probably a better usable spot for it anyway, if your Sim is going to practice their comedy skill. I haven't actually had many Sims do that, but you can actually like perform jokes in front of crowds and stuff. And that's kind of fun. And I think that's been in the game sense base game. I could be wrong. I know like really early on in The Sims, I had like a Sim try it, but like I haven't really fully played with it. Uh, so I know it's been around for a while. And also with fun quirky things here, I decided to use the new trash can that came with the pastel pop kit that has like the soda containers on it. It's just so cute. Of course, I got my cutting boards here in the kitchen and I decided to have this shelf in the kitchen as well. This is from the uh, Journey to Batu game pack. So it's, it's the Star Wars pack. But it looks so cool. I was thinking this was something they like found and decided to utilize as a kitchen shelf. It's practical in that way. And all of that clutter is usable things like cookbooks, all of your jars of like spices. The plant is maybe not so usable, but it's cute. And I kept the clutter to a minimum that wasn't usable stuff. So we have candles to lighten up the space and make it smell nice. I have our shoes neatly placed by the door. And then we should be working on the bathroom next. I can't remember if I kept these blue tiles and I know I had a reason for placing them down and it might have just been trying to be quirky <laughs> to be honest, but this bathroom is really interesting. I used this sink from Eco Lifestyle, which is really pretty, but it's really hard to use because of the blue glass on it. I understand like the idea of having like the glass portion. It looks interesting or maybe it's more like resin, but I really wish that it wasn't blue. I wish it was more clear. I feel like I would use this sink way more often because I like the shape of it. I like the really chunky like pedestal modern sink that we have going on in here. It's just kind of difficult to use because of the blue, but I really embrace, embrace, embraced the blue in this room with these blue subway tiles and I ended up going back for a wooden floor in here. For some reason, the tile wasn't working. I felt like it just didn't feel right in here. It was too cold and I thought the floor warmed it up quite a bit and then I just got a fluffy rug in here as well, which is also from high school years and I love this rug. I've been using it a lot in bathrooms. I've also been overusing it in other rooms with uh, toddlers. Oh, I did change the tile back to black in here. I think it just was a process of trying to figure out how to make that work because at first it was way too dark and there was too much blue, but I think breaking it up with the white on two of the walls really, really helped. 
Anyway, this is going to be the bedroom and I go back and forth with the bed a lot. I think I end up using this one in the end because I've never used this swatch of the bed and I was really determined to do so, but I do switch it out quite a few times, but I'm fairly confident I come back to this one in the end. I think the colors on this are so fun. We have like a minty color as well as yellows and blues. And it really brings in those pops of color that I wanted to include in this build. I also really wanted to add that egg bed, which is for, actually, is it just a, it's not a bed, it's just a rug. It's an egg rug. I was thinking it was an egg bed for like a cat or a dog, but um, I think it's just a rug. And I think that one also came with high school year. So I included that in here. I think I move it out into the kitchen space though. It's going to be like the mat you stand on in front of the sink. And I also added some drawings up above the bed that looked like they could be like architectural sketches of some sort or just like sketches that are in that same sort of style. Uh, so I thought that they worked nicely in here and I'm just trying to make the colors work. They were so bright. I don't know how to use like a bright yellow rug on the floor in here. So I'm just messing around with side tables and all of the possibilities for this room. Once again, very out of my comfort zone. <laughs> so I wanted to... Uh, figure it out and take as much time as I needed to to get this space right and ultimately I think it comes out okay in the end. I like the living space a lot more but I think the bedroom ends up being really cozy and fun so using a lot of the items from the clutter kit here and I also decided to get some like architecture magazines from Dream Home Decorator up here and I put some more like clutter out here with a we have a little mug as well as some of these like open books with swatches and stuff on them. I thought that that seemed applicable. Uh, so I had to use the red shelf to place this because that table is scaled down. So <laughs> if I tried to put clutter there, it would snap up to its original height. So it would be floating. Uh, but anyway, we're in the kitchen again. Now you can see that I was trying some other tiles and you saw the, uh, the little egg rug in there. I think it's so cute. It's such like quirky decor, which is something I was going for in this build. And with that, I also added this clock from the werewolves pack. I just thought it was a little bit different. Maybe they found that at a thrift store or something and incorporated it into their bedroom decor. I also have a lot of books in here. I thought that, that was important for their quest for knowledge. And uh, then up on the roof, I wanted this to be sort of like a romantic spot for when they do have um, people come over and they want to uh, spend some alone time together. So we have some loungers there that they can curl up on. I also just have some useful things up here like planters. I get a rug. There's going to be a VIP bucket up here. If you don't know what that item is, it's an unlockable. I don't remember what you have to do to unlock it, but it's a bucket that has a bottle of champagne in it. It's, it's cute. And so I, I like to do that to insinuate that an area is like a romantic space. And I put a mini fridge up here as well. And that's where that VIP bucket is situated. We also have a telescope up here if you want to look at the stars that could be romantic but you could also like get hit by a meteor or abducted by aliens so maybe it's not so romantic but I thought it was a cool idea and uh, another item that I could actually put up here on the roof and yeah so I also added the bar up here probably not the smartest idea whenever I had a rooftop bar I'm like there's only a ladder to get down this is a very bad idea your sims are going to get juiced and then they have to go down the ladder like no, luckily your sims can't fall down the ladders, but that's what I was thinking about when I placed that. So uh, it, it's probably not the safest. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this build. I really hope you enjoyed this bonus Zodiac build and are looking forward to the Sagittarius one later this week. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the screenshots. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.